This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. Senators debated and passed a compendium of environmental bills today. The legislation, according to Leader of Government Business Attorney General Carl Bethel, will dramatically and fundamentally change and modernize in its entirety laws governing the environmental management, protection, conservation and remediation in the Bahamas. The legislation also gives way for the government to place a ban on any project unless the person has been issued a certificate of environmental clearance. This is any man-made development that poses a man-made change to the environment. As I indicated, regulations will, will be promulgated on a risk base on a risk basis. The larger, the more intrusive the proposal is to the environment, whether land, air, or water then the more stringent the oversight. But if it's dwelling homes, like I say, uh, I, won't, I won't make the comment. But, 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 if you do more damage living in the bush, then you could possibly do it in a properly constructed house with a sewage, with a septic hookup, either a septic tank or a hookup to a sewage system. The opposition had no objections to the bills in principle, according to opposition Senator Dr. Michael Darvel. He says the bills represent an important start in the long road to protecting the environment. However, he said Grand Bahamians are desperately crying for the government to create a new technical arm of the Ministry of Environment that has the resources to train individuals and possess technical tools to work in conjunction with the Grand Bahama Port Authority. During our last administration, the newly formed Ministry for Grand Bahama, where the Honorable Thompson is now the minister, in collaboration with the Ministry of Envi Environment and Housing, were mandated by cabinet to work closely with the regulator, the Grand Bahama Port Authority Environmental Unit, to address these antiquated environmental bylaws and bring them up to national standard. You see, for too long, the Hawksburg Creek Agreement and the quasi-government responsibilities by the Grand Bahama Port Authority has created a country within a country. And the Environmental and Housing Ministry had no jurisdiction in the city of Freeport. Only way you can get jurisdiction without amending the Hawksville Creek Agreement is through this 1965 Act where bylaws can be produced and these bylaws can help the regulator police the environment. The bills in the compendium are the Ministry of Environment Bill 2019, the Environmental Planning and Protection Bill, the Bahamas National Trust Bill, the Environmental Control Plastic Pollution Bill, and the Bahamas Protection Area Fund Investment Bill. When it comes to allegations that junior doctors have been issued letters of termination or that they have been fired by the Public Hospitals Authority, Health Minister Dr. Dwayne Sands is refuting that claim. The Public Hospitals Authority has also denied issuing letters of termination to junior doctors and explained that there are no plans to fire them. Yesterday, the PHA expelled rumors that junior doctors were terminated and made it clear that the PHA, in collaboration with the Department of Public Health, DPH, is in the process of undertaking a matching program where they seek to align all eligible junior doctors transitioning to senior house officers for appointments in New Providence and Grand Bahama public health facilities. The PHA in a statement said this joint exercise between the PHA and DPH is being actioned to ensure equity throughout the deployment exercise. Doctors, whether ser serving under the PHA or DPH, will experience the same level of benefits commensurate with the respective positions held. Further details around the joint matching program, the application process, as well as the timelines for the interview sessions will be publicized in due course. The PHA PHA believes that this approach will also result in a decreased demand for expatriate physicians as the influx of new Bahamian doctors will continue to reduce the need to, for foreign staff. Now, the PHA also noted that junior doctors whose services have been engaged since July without a formalized letter of appointment but who have been operating in the capacity of senior house officers will need to be officially regularized ahead of their appointment of SHO. 
With Christmas just around the corner, complaints have mounted from frustrated brokers and importers about the click to clear online portal. The Customs Department has implemented a newly developed software application designed to make the process easier. Customs Superintendent Jasmine Hudson says businesses must input accurate information into the system rather than erroneous data, which she says may have been the cause of previous problems. It does not require new information, it just requires accurate information. Prior to now, a lot of persons never really paid attention to what they were putting in the system, and which meant that customs was receiving garbage information because people were just putting things in. Now the system does not allow that garbage information to be put in any longer. You have to put in correct information. The system will not allow you to put in garbage. Information Specialist Limited President Clyde Simonet, the creator of the SWIM software, introduced it to nearly 35 businesses today. He says the new program is beneficial and will work as a bridge to the click to clear system. The advantage that our application, which is called SWIM, gives to individual businesses is the ability to import the information electronically, assign tariffs to those items and send it over to customs. All right, so once, once the items on that invoice uh, have already been assigned a tariff number, then, then that whole process becomes electronic. So the next time that the business in, imports those, those items, that information is sent electronically to uh, clip to clip. Superintendent Hudson says the new system should make the process easier and smoother. Click to Clear allows the government to see the revenue ahead of releasing declarations and improving government revenue intake. Earlier in the month, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance Peter Turnquist admitted to challenges with the new Click to Clear system, adding that his ministry was working to iron out the kinks. Stay with us. Jerino Saunders is up next with sports. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.